So the African Star Fellowship Program, it's a program that we put together with, with two very strong partners. Yeah, the, the MasterCard Foundation, which the main objective is to generate employment and high-level employment in Africa, and with the Institut Pasteur in Dakar, which is the long-lasting uh, institute from the Pasteur Network in Africa that have been creating vaccines and doing very advanced science for over 100 years. So this program aimed to, to develop the next generation of Africa scientific leaders. Here we are talking about young scientists that's going to receive very advanced training on how to respond to epidemics, but also how to build yeah, diagnostic systems, therapeutics, and all the way to a master of business administration, how you can run a big program or a big company or a big research institute. So we have a great ambition that is to make Africa and especially African scientific leaders to transform the continent so Africa can fight their own epidemics and can treat their own population. Why we created this, this, this fellowship program? Yeah, so this fellowship program is built on decades, on decades of experience of both we in South Africa and the Pasteur Institute in Africa on generating some of the biggest scientific leaders in the continent. Yeah. But we think that now is the time, the right time, that to move then from just doing science to producing uh, vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics. Yeah. So that's the main reason why we build that. And this program is building also decades of investment. And many people may not know, but Africa has some of the best labs facilities in the world. Now, how can we use these laboratories to not only study virus and, and bacteria, but how can we use them to get the solution to problems such as drug resistance in malaria or HIV yeah, vaccines or tuberculosis treatment. So how can we use all this big experience to now capacitate people to not be followers, but to lead not only the African continent, but the whole world on fighting these diseases that have been for centuries in Africa.